Hello everyone, welcome to the English devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let's begin in prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before your holy presence asking forgiveness of my sins so that my prayer can enter your holy throne. Thank you, Lord, for this day that you have given us. Thank you for waking us up with new opportunities and new mercy that is new for us every morning. Father, we glorify your holy name because you are a good God, even in the midst of our trials and tribulations and stresses of life. You are good. We magnify you, O Lord, because you are the one who gives us salvation and forgiveness of our sins. There is nothing too complicated for you, and there is nothing too simple for you, Lord. We thank you. We praise you. Father, I ask that you will wrap your loving arms around all those who are suffering and are grieving. Lord, you know each and every story. You know each and every reality. I ask you, Lord, that you will make yourself ever-present for them. Be with those who are needing discernment and wisdom. You said in your word that if we ask for wisdom, that you will give it to us, Lord. So we're asking you right now. Father, we thank you and we praise you for being who you are, for being so ever-present and available to us. Father, may we never take for granted the work on the cross that you did for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Today's devotional is titled, Change, Repent, or Hold On. It was written by Joandre Jimenez and translated by Maria Elena Cardona. Our biblical base comes from Revelations chapter 3, verses 7 through 13. So says the word of God. And to the angel of the church of Philadelphia write, These things say he who is holy, he who is true, he who has the key of David, he who opens and no one shuts and shuts and no one opens. I know your works. See, I have set before you an open door and no one can shut it. For you have a little strength, have kept my word and have not denied my name. Indeed, I will make those of the synagogue of Satan, who say they are Jews and are not. But lie indeed, I will make them come and worship before your feet, and to know that I have loved you, because you have kept my command and persevere. I also will keep you from the hour of trial which shall come upon the whole world to test those who dwell on the earth. Behold, I am coming quickly. Hold fast what you have that no one may take your crown. He who overcomes, I will make him a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go out no more. I will write on him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem, which comes down out of heaven from my God. And I will write on him my new name. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of the scripture. These are just some of the Lord's words to the youngest of the seven churches. I am coming soon. Hold fast what you have so that no one will take your crown. This church did not stand out for its economy. It was not among the largest congregations, but it had not denied the word of the Lord. What is essential, as a certain thinker said, what is invisible to the eye, the weakest church in the presence of men, was the strongest according to the one who can look beyond, according to the one who, like no one else, can see the heart. This is the result of God's message to the seven churches and of the experience of the Christian path. It is not wealth or the appearance of godliness or the number of congregations that must prevail in the end. As in the message to the churches of those times, We will all have something to change or eradicate, while some fortunate ones, like that church in Philadelphia, showed diligence while retaining what God had given them. Not to lose heart, but to retain the teaching and testify of the grace of the Lord through the death of the Lamb is the task of every Christian during all the days of his life. Amen. My brothers and sisters, this is a beautiful reminder that God does not look at what other people can see with their eyes. They don't look at the economy or how big or grand a church is or how big a congregation is. 
the Lord looks at the heart. And one of the beautiful things about the Church of Philadelphia is they treasured what they had in the word of the Lord. They did not deny the word of the Lord. They lived, they loved, and God rewarded them greatly. He rewarded them so much that he protected them from what was to come. My brothers and sisters, don't be discouraged if on the outside things look like a mess because God looks at what is in your heart. And what is in your heart, the things that we cannot see but only God can see, is what matters to him. So my brothers and sisters, it is your heart that matters, not what things appear to be. Amen. May the Lord receive the honor and the glory. I confess I'm a sinner. I confess you're my Savior. I confess, Lord, I need your love to make me whole. I'm a schemer, Lord, I need a redeemer, Lord, I give you my body, spirit, and my soul, Lord, have mercy on me right now as I give myself to you, I give you all I am and all I've been, Lord, have mercy on me. I give myself to you as I surrender let your healing flow begin I confess I'm a sinner I confess you're my savior I confess Lord I need your love to make me whole I confess I'm a schemer Lord I need a redeemer Lord, I give you my body, spirit, and my soul. Lord, have mercy on me right now as I give myself to you. I give you all I am and all I've been. Lord, have mercy on me right now as I give myself to you. As I surrender, let your healing flow begin. If we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. 1 John 1, 8 and 9. He forgives us our sins if we are faithful to confess and to fully transform by his life and righteousness. Lord, have mercy on me right now as I give myself to you. I give you all I am and all I've been. Lord, have mercy on me right now as I give myself to you. As I surrender, let your healing flow begin. I'm on my Amen. And now we invite you to check out the YouTube channel, SCC English Ministry, for the daily Bible reading as we journey through the book of Psalms. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children now and forever. Amen.